speeding and do something. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to touch your knee there, but now that I have. <laughs> He really broke the ice. <laughs> Less than a year ago, Jim Carrey was known solely for his work on a TV series well past its glory days. Since then, he's become Hollywood's hottest comic actor in nearly a decade, thanks to a pair of surprise hits, an uninhibited detective send-up. Oh, righty then and an off-the-wall special effects romp. Spoken! This week, the Canadian-born Carey goes for the hat trick and earns $7 million as the cerebrally challenged hero of Dumb and Dumber. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? Austria. Austria? <laughs> well then, <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Carrie's story begins in front of a mirror, where as a child he spent hours practicing the goofy faces that would become his trademark, his gift for mimicry and for outrageous up work. These days, women have heard every line there is to say. Guys, you gotta get in there with something visual and distract them. Hey, baby! Come here for a second. You were doing kind of tributes to famous people, I think is what you said. Yeah, I did a lot of, uh, it was, it was vegas -y kind of, uh... Can I say crap? Seems like no matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, Jimmy Stewart can look at it in a positive way. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> Is, is is fun. I love it. I love it. I just love to be able to like go to a party, you know, and and you know, after a while, after you get established as doing impressions, you know, as going to a party and say something that's really truly original and funny, and everybody everybody say, who's that supposed to be? that came out here. You came out with like a thousand bucks in your pocket and some phone numbers and you figured you'd be doing, right. doing TV or movies any day. Oh, I had phone numbers, man. Every L.A. comic or you know, comic, every celebrity that I met, you know, in Canada, I, w I would say, listen, I'm going to be going out to L.A. Uh, soon. Uh, can I give you a call when I get out there? You betcha, kid. You come on out there, I'll show you the town. I'll paint it red with you. You know, I'd call them up and I'd say, uh, remember me? From Canada, Jim. You told me to call you when I get out here. I'm sorry, Jim, I don't seem to recall who the hell you are, buddy. I'm sorry, I just don't have room in my life. And then you get to LA, of course, you're on Sunset Boulevard. People are going, want a date? No. <laughs> I thought it was um, Sadie Hawkins' day, you know, it was like... Didn't realize there was money involved. Sure. Wait, let me get a corsage. So you did get some early breaks, so you were in that TV show uh, Duck Factory with Alan Burns, the guy who created yeah. Mary Tyler Moore, also wrote for Bowinkle, and I imagine that had something <laughs> to do with the plot of... Well, that's, that's the whole reason I did it right there, Bowinkle. You gotta go, you gotta go with the guy that wrote Bowling Man. Sure, you know, it's pretty hip stuff. Uh, yeah, 
I thought that would have good that would have been a good show if they'd have given me something to do. Who's that guy you're talking about? Yeah, he sounds great. He better be. Who is he? You. Me. In this town again. You'll never work anywhere again. I'm so glad that it took this long because when you come to LA, everybody goes, something new. <laughs> Uh, uh. He's had his shot. It's all over. He's had his shot. Like that, and then they wait until you know a generation goes by and everybody forgets, and they give you another shot. While Carey waited for his next shot at the big time, he took on smaller roles in movies, and it was on the Julie Brown extraterrestrial musical Earth Girls Are Easy that he met his future in living color colleague, Damon Wayans. When you do Earth Girls Are Easy, your playing role doesn't even speak English, right? You're like, you're talking in subtitles for most of the movie. Yeah, it was hilarious too because I, I took it really seriously at that time and Damon would crack up because, <laughs> because we'd get into a scene and I'd go, Like that, and, and I'd go, hold it, wait! <laughs> I meant tuck a tuck a hee ho. I, sh I meant to say tuck a hee ho. Can we do that again? This is a bit. You must have thought you were nuts. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> he didn't even know. He had only cracked the surface. When we return, Jim gets his big break. Finally. We'll show you the hits that made him a movie star and take a look at Dumb and Dumber. Hold that plane! Sir, you, you can't go in there. It's okay! I'm a limo driver! MTV's Oddities presents... Level with me, Doc. Is there anything you can do? I'll be honest with you, Jim. Your condition is unique. No! Poor bastard. The Head. Monday nights at 10. Plug in and stand back. The way to Catherine's heart... Pop, 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 it was electric. ...is through her brain. Nuclear fusion. Boom! Unfortunately, Ed's no Einstein. Fortunately, yes, he is. Put the two right people together and watch them fall in love. Ow! That is jiving. Meg Ryan, from Massow. E equals MC squared. I hope so. IQ, rated PG, starts Christmas Day at theaters everywhere. This is Bruce Smith's you, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is... This is Rod Woodson's shoe. I have visions of Rod Woodson. I see him lurking like a shadow. I sense he's somewhere lurking. I hear his heartbeat. Ba-boom. 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 Rod, 